In the name of Allah, the most compassionate and the most merciful. Story of the candle about Imam Ali, peace be upon him. It was a dark night. There was no moon and no stars. It was around 9 p.m. and Amar was ready to go to sleep. Would you, ma'am, tell me a story before going to sleep? Asked Amar of his mother. He was used to listening to his mother's stories every night before going to bed. Sure, son, said the mother, but it will not be an ordinary story. It will not be a story about one of these princes who steal people's wealth in order to satisfy their own desires. It's a story about a true prince, prince of the faithful, Amir al-Mu'mineen, Imam Ali ibn Abi Talib, peace be upon him. Okay, ma'am, I'm listening, said Ammar. One night, said the mother, Al-Imam Ali, peace be upon him, was doing budgeting work for the Islamic House of Treasury. He was calculating revenues and expenses using a candle because it was night. He suddenly noticed the approaching of Talha and Az-Zubayr. The two had aspired to a position in Imam Ali's ruling. They were going to strike a deal that if Al-Imam gives them a good position, they will pledge their full support to him. And Imam Ali, peace be upon him, knew of the fact. And when the two sat to the table, peace be upon him, extinguished the first candle and lit another. Talha looked at Al-Zubayr, and Al-Zubayr looked at Talha. They could not understand the reasoning behind this behavior. Well, Imam, the first that was started, we have come to discuss an important business. I'm listening, said Imam Ali, peace be upon him. Well, but first we would like to understand the reasoning behind your behavior. Like, why did you extinguish the candle, the first candle, and lit another? Why did you light another candle? Oh, said the Imam, that's easy to explain. When you came, I was doing work for the Islamic House of Treasury. And, likewise, the candle belonged to the Islamic House of Treasury. Whereas now, when I'm meeting with you, I'm doing personal work. And, likewise, I am using a candle that I had bought using my own personal money, my own personal funds. Talha looked at Az-Dubayr, and Az-Dubayr looked at Talha. It wasn't, it didn't require much thinking. They understood that this prince, prince of the faithful, Imam Ali, peace be upon him, was too honest to exploit money and governmental positions for his own interests. And thus, they both stood up and left without saying an extra word, without saying any other word. Praise the Lord, Allah, the supreme creator of everything.